Kate Middleton confessed she, Prince William and Prince Harry make a far bigger impact when they work together, a newly resurfaced video has revealed. Kate joined the royal family, and became the Duchess of Cambridge, when she married William, the Duke of Cambridge, in 2011. She had been dating William since 2003 and is believed to have developed a strong bond with his brother Prince Harry over that time. She also became a patron for William and Harry's joint mental health charity, the Royal Foundation, upon marriage. The charity was expected to be a long-lasting success with the three of them working together. When Harry married American actress Meghan Markle in May 2018, it was assumed the four of them would continue to work amicably and they were even branded the Fab Four apostrophe. However, Meghan and Harry withdrew from the Royal Foundation over the summer and have decided to set up their own independent trust called Sussex Royal. Many speculate this split is further proof of a falling out between the two couples. In an interview conducted in February 2018 at the first annual conference of the Royal Foundation, Kate revealed why she, Harry and William work more effectively when working together. She said, Mental health, is obviously such a huge topic, although it wasn't as big as I actually thought it was, but I think it was something that I think all three of us felt that we really could make a far bigger impact together rather than just one of us acting alone on it. This event is the only occasion to date when Kate, William, Harry and Meghan have been interviewed together. Meghan was introduced as a future patron of the charity, as she was not yet married to Harry. She said in the interview that she was very excited to be able to work on initiatives similarly and have impact globally when discussing the successes of their campaigns. Meghan explained she was particularly impressed set up in 2016. She added, the impact they all made with heads together was tremendous. Gate explained, I've always felt really strongly instead of putting ideas together we all had very different areas we were working with, Harry with knife crime, William with homelessness and me with addiction. I just think to be able to come together to find some sort of common ground, draw ideas together and find a way forward was really exciting. However, this common ground has supposedly lessened, and led to the split. Vanity Fair reported in June that the division was to help the couples pursue different trajectories as they have contrasting interests. Sussex Royal is expected to become more of an international organization, while William and Kate may continue to focus on mental well-being and conservation causes. The Royal Foundation was set up in 2009 by Harry and William in an effort to address some of the today's challenges, such as homelessness and children's mental health. In the Vanity Fair article, a palisade explained why there had been such a shift, when the foundation was formed it was for two boys in their early 20s. Their lives have changed considerably. Meghan and Harry also moved out of Kensington Palace earlier this year, where they had lived with William and Kate along with their three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. The sudden move into Windsor's Frogmore Cottage, which also signaled a split in couples staff, shocked many especially as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had apparently only just completed decorating their apartment. Prince Harry has hit the headlines this summer after he and Meghan Markle were embroiled in a series of controversies. Could Harry improve his public reputation by taking a leaf out of Prince William's book? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, have faced a large amount of scrutiny over the last few months. Prince Harry repeatedly requested privacy for his family and said his occasional trips by private jet were due to security concerns. The new parents also faced backlash for their decision to keep the christening of their son, baby Archie Harrison, as a private event. Following this string of bad publicity, one royal expert has suggested the Duke follows in the footsteps of his brother, Prince William, and his late mother, Princess Diana, to help improve his public image. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said Princess Diana could act as a warning for Prince Harry. M. Seward wrote in The Sun, Princess Diana regularly used commercial flights and Prince Charles still does, accompanied by royal protection officers. It was only when Diana made the decision to dump her royal protection and relied on Mohammed Al-Fayed's security teams that her life was put in mortal danger. What's more, 
I'm sure Diana would tell him to stop using L.A. speak, rambling on in interminable paragraphs, and to be plain and come to the point. Above all, be humble. Don't take the moral high ground. M. Seward also compares Prince Harry to Prince William, who she said has statesmanlike qualities. M. Seward said, yet Harry has always rushed in without considering the consequences, unlike his brother William, who is now regarded as someone with statesmanlike qualities. If Harry and Meghan slowed down and took things more gently, instead of this frantic grappling for approval and attention, they might win public support. Since finishing maternity leave, the Duchess of Sussex has received a significant amount of praise for her Smart Works collection, which helps empower women to get back into the workplace. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will also be back in the public eye as they embark upon their royal tour of Africa next week. Prince Harry is due to visit Angola, to see the landmine site in Huambo where his mother was famously pictured, although the site has changed dramatically into a bustling area with schools and shops. The Duke and Duchess also have various public engagements while in Africa, visiting women's empowerment and youth support projects.